kindly go ahead. It's day eight right now in the Big Brother Niger house. It's about 6.45. I'm just going to catch up on everything that happened from after the live show last night up to this moment. And then we go into the live nomination show. Everybody gives you advice, yeah, on how to live your life, how to live your life. Don't you know that life is full of surprises? You better realize. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking this video. If this is not your first time, welcome back. If this is your first time, please click the subscribe button and click the bell right beside it. Click the thumb up button, everybody. Thank you so much. So last night, um, there was a lot of conversations after the show. Ozo flirting up and down, Kidwaya and um, Erica flirting up and down. They actually, Kidwaya and Erica actually talked about Colin Dale, guys. That's where I lived before. Like, he was literally describing an estate that used to be where I used to stay. Anyway, that's aside. Let's start with Nengi. So Nengi and Ozo were talking. She was just walking. Nengi is kind of like really holding herself back with this Ozo thing. Obviously, so you guys know Nengi is so smart like she's actually here to play the game every footstep Nengi takes I think she actually calculated very very well so she doesn't want to be distracted that's all I thought she was and then towards the end of the evening towards the end of the night you know she's in the head of house room with her deputy Watoni and then she confided in Watoni that she didn't think it was, was going to work out with Ozo. Why? Because her heart is with someone outside the house who is her boo. So apparently Nengi has a boyfriend but we've never really heard that before. We just heard that for the first time in the head of house room with Watoni. All this shipping is not going to work man. Heart is somewhere else. Somewhere else. So we'll see how that goes. She has still been chilling with Ozo. They've been doing just, you know, just thing. She flirts a lot with him and then she also plays a lot with Tricky T. She says that one makes her laugh. She's always calling him, Tricky, come here, make me laugh. Tricky, good night. Tricky this, you know. Always do those unnecessary things. But she's also a very calm girl with a sweetheart. But I know she's really calculated at all as well. Um, this clip I'm going to show you now. This is basically how 2020 has really shown us. <laughs> guys kidwaya likes to flirt a lot like he just jokes a lot with um watoni later earlier today he was just in the room just saying some things about well watoni being on his bed and just some kind of thing and watoni was like ah, this is the third thing you're saying you know the first one was when he said we're going to paint me naked and then the second one she didn't want to say she now said something something on the bed and they just started laughing bright was there as well I so her next sense, I thought she actually fancied Bright, but I'm thinking she liked Bright as a friend. Because the other time she was washing in the kitchen and she was like, I want you to keep me company. And I should to Bright. I think Bright is like her cool friend right now, slash, I'm not sure, just in case. And then she just enjoys flirting with Kidwire. But most of Kidwire's time in with a girl has been spent with Erica, thankfully. Because I really don't know how that's going to go, but I think I prefer an Erica with a Kidwire. Kidwire gave me some flirts. He was chilling somewhere and he started asking Nengi. Okay, Nengi was like, Kidwire. Can you like call my name, say my name, in fact add my Say my name again. Kidwire. One more time. Kidwire. In fact add my surname to your name. Let's see how we sound. Bring your ring finger. Let's check it out or something like that. You know, it's just always playing around. Anyway. Try your first name on my last name. Anyway, it's okay. Like this is not Love Island where people are supposed to be coupled up with one person. I guess it's interesting conversation and interesting for us to watch that different kind of random things are happening. And yeah, Talani and Kaisha kind of had a little squabble and Tolani called her a weird witch. I think she didn't apologize properly or something like that and I don't know. I don't know what you guys think about Kaisha. I'm sure you guys are not watching so you wouldn't even know but she acts really strange sometimes. She's cool sometimes. Like Lucy said you doubt that fight some of her screws get losing sometimes. She now says she's also deaf in one ear. I don't know if that was a dig or just an insult or it's actually real. I don't know. Keisha is weird. She's simply in a way that she tries to learn things she doesn't know. She's open about things she doesn't know. But then again, when she has fights with people, she, I don't her interpersonal skills are just rubbish, really. Basically, I think that's just the summary. And then V and Neil were on the bed just talking about their relationship. V was just saying, well, she should just go with whatever energy he gives her. And then for right now, everything is fine. She's just going to take things as they come. As long as she doesn't get any form of disrespect from him, she good. And then he now laughs, she pushed her. Children for respect, but when you don't, mm -hmm. I will fucking. <laughs> I'm sure the boy is just thinking that I almost see you. As he was telling Eric the other day, it's obviously a nice thing when someone is paying you attention and all that. Obviously, he likes her because he also said he wouldn't let people he don't like doesn't like you know be around him, hug him, and stuff like that. So he's enjoying her company, I'm sure. And then he knows he's also going to help him with talks. Like, see, we're doing this review now. We're talking about him because he's in a relationship. You get and his cheekbones, guys, are so dope. So, dope. so guys and that's it for what has happened so far if there's any other extra clip i'll put it in if not sit down chill and let's give you 
guys the head of house task is over Lekon, Neo, Ozo and Lucy actually had really high points but the other three were the higher points than Lekon so they had to go head to head to see who was going to win obviously they threw the dice again and then guess who won Neo threw it first he got one so obviously Neo was out of the game the other two cannot get one Ozo now threw and go five I was like oh my god is it even possible that Lucy would get you know something higher and then Lucy threw and go six Lucy is now the new H.O.H. So people that announced the fact that she has immunity, she has access to the lounge of the head of house and then guess what she has to choose her assistant. So people that is giving her 20 minutes to go and choose the assistant and then do you know what he now said? Now the assistant thing everybody knew was going to be Katrina because they are besties in the house. People that now said it has to be someone of the opposite sex. What is that? I'm just guessing that people that didn't have enough action from Nengi Awatoni being there. Obviously, when there's a guy and a girl sleeping, you know, it can bring more, drive more gist to the platform, bring, bring more hashtags and stuff. But what nonsense is this one? So, guys, that's it. We're waiting for Lucy to choose. And guess who Lucy chose? Prince. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please click the top up button immediately now, now, now if you haven't. Don't forget to subscribe to join my family and see you on the next episode. Bye-bye. Do you accept this role? Who <laughs> 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 <laughs>